Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Jose Eduardo, Carlos, Esmeralda, Ileana, Rebeca, Moisés, Denis, and Josael, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hi, fine. Hi, thanks. Okay, that's great. It's good to know that you are okay tonight. So tonight we're going to talk about aptitude, company aptitude. But before to go to tonight's topic, let me know, please, if you have any question about the platform exercises. Do you have any problem on the platform? No, no problem, no question. No question, teacher. Okay, that's great. So please don't forget that during this week, you have to complete the section number three and also you have to take the meter exam, right? Uh, have you already done that we work? Ya hicieron ese trabajo? Have you already completed the section number three? ¿Quién ya completó la sección tres? Yes, I have already completed. That yes, I can. Eh, Denise too. And what about the meter exam? ¿Ya lo hicieron? A mí solo me falta el, el examen. Okay, the test. Perfect. And what about Moises? Have you already finished, Moises? Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Okay, so if you haven't finished yet, uh, please don't forget that you have to do the work during this week. Don't forget about that. So let's start with tonight's class. And this is the topic for tonight. Let me share with you the presentation of tonight and we are going to talk about comparative objectives. So welcome to the class number six and let's start. Here we go. So let's start with this. Do you know this material? What is called cotton? What is it? Yes, Denise, algodon. Yes, I can see that you answered. And gold? What about gold? Oro. Oh, leather. Cuero. And plastic? That is an easy one. What about rubber? Rubber. Rubber. Paulado o de hule. No. It's goma. Coma, goma, or caoutchouc. What about silk? Metal, hierro. Eh, silk? Seda. Seda. Ah, seda. Seda, silk. Eh, silver. Plata. 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 And finally, we have wool. Como cuero. No, wool. Lana. 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 Okay, lana. And then I have these, um, these items here. A plastic bracelet, a gold ring, a silk tie. Uh, let's see, a wool sock, a leather jacket, a silk shirt, silver earrings, and rubber boots. So which of these materials do you think is more expensive? ¿Cuál es el más caro de todos los materiales que están ahí? Cotton, gold, leather, plastic, rubber, silk, silver, and wool. Gold. 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 And what is the cheaper one? Gold. Plastic. Silver. The cheaper one? Plastic. Oh, probably plastic, right? Plastic is the cheaper material. And between silk and leather, which one do you think is more expensive? Silver. Silk and leather. Which one is more expensive? Leather. 
leather. Okay. I guess silk. Silk is more expensive. Print. So don't forget about this material, please. And we're going to use it later. So let's start with this conversation. The title of this conversation is, which one do you prefer? So which one do you prefer? What is the meaning of that question? ¿Cuál prefieres? Okay, excellent. So remember that we studied which yesterday and which we use which when we have auction. Cuando tenemos opciones, so which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? And let's listen to this conversation and pay attention to the question and the answer. Here we go. Let's listen it. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Any new vocabulary in this conversation? New vocabulary? Mm -hmm. Warmer. Warmer. Oh. Caliente. Warmer. Eh, warm is the adjective. Is caliente, cálido. And warmer is the comparative adjective. Más caliente. O más cálida. Any other? Stylish. Stylish. Eh, elegant. Elegant. Any other word there? Then it says, look, this jacket is really nice. Which one do you prefer? And as you can see in the picture, she has two options. Ella tiene dos opciones, the black one and the other one. What color is the other one? Is it green? Dark green. Okay, dark green. Aqua. Or aqua, okay, or aqua. So it says, which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. La, ¿Cuál le gusta más? ¿De qué material? Which one? It says, I like the wool one better. Oscar, I like the leather. Okay, Oscar. I like the wool one better. So, me gusta más. La de lana. The wool one. Why it looks warmer? ¿Por qué esa? Porque luce más. Warmer, más cálida. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Comparando estas dos chaquetas, es más elegante. ¿Cuál de las dos is more stylish than? Which one is more elegant or stylish? What do you think? ¿Cuál les parece más elegante de estas dos chaquetas? Sí. The letter one. Okay, so you think a thing as an. So let's see. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It, how do you read this price? How do you read that number? 499. Okay, thank you so much. Then it's 499. Would you like to try it on? What is the meaning of that question? Would you like to try it on? Te gustaría probártela. Okay, thank you. No, that's okay. But thanks. Anyway, you're welcome. Okay, ¿por qué decidiría no probártela? What do you think? Because it's too expensive. Okay, because the letter one is too expensive. Cool. ¿Cuánto es lo más que han gastado en una camisa? O en una chaqueta, en la jacket. $35. <laughs> okay, $35. Mm, 
¿Alguien ha comprado una máscara? A more expensive jacket. Thirty. Ok. Fifty dollars. Fifty. Oh, thirty. Oh, thirty. Thirty dollars. Ok. Fifty dollars. Nobody. Fifty dollars. One hundred dollars. Una jacket. No. Too much expensive. Which one do you prefer? Ok. Let's go with this grammar focus preference. And also comparison with adjectives. The question for preference is which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? You say, I prefer the letter one. Which one do you like better? It's another option. Which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more? I like the letter one better. I like the letter one more. The end. That one is cheaper than the whole one. So let's say a look at this. Cheaper than. That is the adjective cheap, but in comparative form, cheaper than. This one is nicer than. It's más bonita. The leather jacket is prettier than. Más bonita, it looks bigger than. It's más grande, and it's more stylish than. Más elegante. Más elegante. So the spelling cheap, here is the objective now in comparative form. We need to add ER to the objective to make the comparative form. So cheap, cheaper, nice, nicer, pretty, prettier, big, bigger. We need to follow a couple of rules to make this spelling quick. So after listening these examples, we are going to see how to make comparative objectives. So let's preferences. Listen. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. Okay. Excellent. Then let's go to the next. See, which one do you prefer? Let's practice in this part. So which which dress do you prefer? I prefer the green one. Which t-shirt do you prefer? I prefer the red and white ones. Which pants do you prefer? I prefer the brown ones. So which you have option, right? So you can choose between the green and the yellow dress. Then between the light blue and the red and white t-shirt. Then between the green pants and the brown. The green and the brown fan. So, like in these examples, let me ask you, Oscar, which one do you prefer, the green or the brown pan? The grandpa. Okay, you say I prefer the brown. I prefer the brown the one. The brown one. The brown brown. I David, David, which teacher yes. do you prefer? Um, I have to answer with the color. Yes, I prefer okay, the. I, I prefer the blue one. Okay, and what about the size? Um, I prefer uh, medium. That's it. Okay, I prefer the medium one. Perfect. The medium. Okay, let's see, Jessica, which dress do you prefer? I prefer this. Okay, I prefer, I prefer the seal one. Perfect. And let me see. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Let's see, Claudia, 
which teacher do you prefer? The small one or the medium one? Which teacher do you prefer? I prefer the medium. Okay, I prefer the medium one. Thank you so much. So, let's complete this part. So using the same picture, which dress is the yellow one or the green one? And I have this ability, the style is large, pretty, good, or expensive. What do you think is the first ability to complete the which dress is the yellow or the green one? Y luego dice, well, the green one is silk, and silk is done called yester. So let's complete this. So which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? What do you think? ¿Cuál les gusta más? ¿The silk one or the polyester one? Silk one. Okay, well, the green one is silk and silk is... ¿Cuál podría ser el adjetivo? Expensive. Yes, and silk is more expensive than polyester. Is this blue t-shirt? Then we have larger than the red and white one. No, the red and white one is bigger. Look at those pants. Which one do you like? Which one do you like better? We can use better or more in this part. I prefer the cotton ones. They are more stylish than the wool ones. So comparative ability is prettier more expensive, larger than, bigger, better, and more stylish than. So I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice tonight? Two volunteers. I have Sonia and let's see, Sonia and David. Thank you so much. So Sonia, you are A, David, you are B. Okay, which dress is prettier, the yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more expensive than the polyester. Is this blue t-shirt larger than the red and white one? No, the red one is white one. The red one, the red and white one is bigger. Look at those pants. Which ones do you like better? I prefer the cotton ones. They are more stylish than the wool ones. Okay, excellent, thank you. Excellent job. Let's go to the next exercise. Uh, making comparative adjectives. So we need to follow these uh, rules to make the adjective into comparative forms. Right? So short adjectives. To share adjectives, we are going to add e, e okay, we have e, e, right? E, e, we need to add this, the C1 syllable adjective, for example, all and fast. So what is the comparative form of this, all and fast? So ER, right? So, older and faster sería la forma comparativa de estos dos adjetivos. A los adjetivos de una sílaba, solo vamos a agregarle ER, como old and fast, for example, older and faster. Two syllable adjectives ending in letter Y. Los adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminen en la letra Y, white, like happy, and easy, we are going to add ER, so happier, easier. And we have here the example old, older. If the adjective end in E, just add R. Si el adjetivo termina en E, solo vamos a agregar la R, late, later. If the adjective end in consonant, vowel consonant, double the last consonant, let's, for example, big and bigger. Si el adjetivo termina en esta combinación, 
consonante vocal consonante, tenemos que duplicar la segunda consonante para hacer la forma comparativa. Ik, Iker. Variation. If the adjective end in white, change the white to I. Y el adjetivo termina en Y. Vamos a cambiar esa Y por una I normal y vamos a decir happier. We are going to change Y for I. A E R. So happier. Any question in this rule? Adjetivos de una sílaba, solo agregamos ER. Adjetivos de dos sílabas que terminan en Y, agregamos ER. Si el adjetivo termina en E, solo vamos a agregar la R. Si el adjetivo termina en la combinación consonante, vocal consonante, duplicamos la segunda consonante. Si el adjetivo termina en Y, quitamos la Y, agregamos I normal más ER. So, let's continue with the next rule here. Long adjective. ¿Qué pasa con los adjetivos? Eh, largos. Tenemos que utilizar la palabra more antes del adjetivo. We need to use more before the adjective. Two syllable adjectives no ending in Y. Los adjetivos de dos sílabas que no terminen en Y, tenemos que usar more, like more modern, more pleasant. All adjectives of three or more syllables Adjetivos de tres o más sílabas, tenemos que utilizar more, more expensive than, more intellectual than. And I have this example, modern, more modern, expensive, more expensive. Do you have an equation in this part? Preguntas, do you have an equation in this part? No hay preguntas en la red para hacer adjetivos comparativos. Ok, then let's try in this exercise. Bites are than hard. The adjective is cheap. ¿Cómo hago ese adjetivo comparativo de acuerdo a las reglas que acabamos de ver? So can you help me please to write cheaper. the right comparative form to this sentence? Cheaper. Then you say cheaper. Yes, we need to add er to this. Cheaper. December is than April. The adjective is cold. Colder. Colder. Okay, one syllable adjective. Just add ER. So colder. My shirt is colorful than yours. More, More colorful. More colorful. Okay, as colorful is a long adjective. Colorful. Three syllables. Adjective, then I need to use more before the adjective. More colorful than yours. My shirt is more colorful than yours. Smartphones are more expensive. More expensive. Okay, more expensive than tablets. Then let's go with number five. Orange are good. Good. Okay. Good is an irregular adjective. It's so better. The comparative form is better. Thank you. So this is the comparative form of good. Chinese is than English. The adjective here is difficult. It's more, more difficult. difficult. More difficult. Chinese is more difficult than English. Thank you. Okay. I need a volunteer to read sentence one, two, and three. Who wants to help me with the first three sentences? Thank you, Rebecca, Junel. One, two, and three, please. And then we're going to listen Sonia and then David. Okay. Bikes are cheaper than cars. December is colder than April. My shirt is more colorful than yours. Thank you so much. Leo, Sonia, can you continue, please? The smartphones are more expensive, expensive than 
tablets. Oranges are better than pizzas and Chinese is more difficult than English. One, two, and three, David, please. Bikes are cheaper than cars. The number is colder than apple. My shirt is more colorful than yours. Okay, thank you so much. Let's see, I have another exercise here for you. Thank you. Very good job in this part. So can you please make sentences comparing these two pair of sunglasses? And I have here this ability, beautiful, stylish, expensive, and small. Can you help me making sentences? Comparative sentences. Let's see, beautiful. Any volunteer to use beautiful uh, in a comparative sentence? It black. could be. Okay, let's listen, Sonia. Okay, it could be the black sunglasses are more stylish than the blue ones. Okay, excellent, excellent sentence. Thank you. That was perfect. One point for Sonia. Any other volunteer? The black sunglasses are more expensive than the and the sky blue ones. <laughs> okay, light blue, light blue. Okay, David, excellent sentence. Anyone? Stylish and expensive. I have beautiful and small too. Any other volunteer to make sentences using beautiful? ¿Cuál par de lentes es más bonito que el otro? Nobody won. Juan. The light blue. The light blue sunglasses are small than black sunglasses. Oh, uh, can you please repeat the sentence, Jonel? The light blue sunglasses are more smaller than the black ones. Okay, almost perfect sentence. So you say the the blue the blue ones are smaller. No necesitamos more porque small es un adjetivo de una sílaba. Solo agregamos er. Sería smaller than. So the blue ones are smaller than the black ones. But very good try. Thank you so much, Tonel. And beautiful. I have this feeling. Beautiful. The black sunglasses are more beautiful than the light blue ones. Okay, perfect, David. Thank you. So the points for you. So I have Sonia one point, David two points, and Janel one point in this exercise. Let's go with the next. I have fast, expensive, small, and elegant for these two cards. Can you make sentences to compare them? The blue one is um, the blue one is faster than the black one. Perfect sentence, David. Thank you. Anyone? The black ones is more fast to the blue ones. Okay, very good try, but more fast. We can we don't say more fast because fast is an adjective of one syllable. So we need to add er. It's very faster la forma comparativa, and I don't need more in this sentence. The blue one is faster than the black one. Expensive, which one do you think is more expensive? The black one is more expensive than blue one. Perfect, thank you. Small. Okay. 
the blue one is smaller than the, than the sorry the black one is smaller than the blue one perfect david thank you elegant elegant the black ones are more elegant than the blue one Okay, let me say the black one is more, is more elegant than the blue one. Thank you, Junel. Is, en este caso, is. Porque estamos hablando solo de un carro. Okay, then we are going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to compare this. Okay, we are going to say sentences comparing the motors cycle and the card. So, ¿Qué adjetivos podríamos utilizar para comparar estos dos medios de transporte? These two transportation means motorcycles and cars. ¿Qué adjetivos podemos utilizar? A small, expensive, cheap, or fast. Okay, you say a small, cheap, expensive. Which other one? Fast, uh, beautiful, stylish. A stylish, beautiful, fast. fast. Slow. We can, a slow. Which other one? Safe. Safe. ¿Cuál es más seguro? Save. So, which one? How is much better? better? Okay, better, right? So, good. Good, in this case, en la forma comparativa, bed, better. David, tell me. What could be the, uh, the, the comparative of safe? Safe, safer. 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 Safe. Uh, only add the letter R. Yes. Safer. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Okay, which one do you prefer? Um, motorcycle or car? ¿Cuál prefieren? ¿Una motocicleta o un carro? Okay. Uh, car a motorcycle or a car? Which one do you prefer? A car. A car, of course. I, 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 <laughs> I, I prefer, prefer a car. car blue one. Okay, the blue car. Okay, excellent. So we can convert these to... Okay, I have here a smartphone and I have here an... The, an it is an iPhone, right? So, is there a difference between them? Which objective can we use to compare these two items? Expensive. Okay, we can use expensive. Style. Uh, which objective? Sorry. Style. I couldn't listen you. Can you please repeat? Stanley. He says stylish. Ah, okay. Stylish. Stylish. Thank you so much. Stylish. And. Okay. Beautiful. Big. We can use big. Better. Better. Okay. Okay, nice. And also these two animals. Uh, dog and cat. Which one do you prefer? Dog or cat? I prefer cat. <laughs> I prefer dogs. Okay, I prefer dog. 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 
the beautiful dog. Okay, that's great. So which adjective can we use to compare these two animals? Funny. Okay, we can use funny. Obedient, fast. Fast. Ely, can you please repeat your adjective? Uh, obedient. Okay, obedient. The dog, of course, right? It's more obedient. Quiet. Friend. Intelligent. Quiet. In intelligent. Quiet. Cute. 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 Any other adjective? Friendly. Okay, friendly. Yes, friendly. Okay, so you have a Playful. lot of apps. Playful is another one, yes. Playful. Playful. Okay, then we are going to go to the breakup room and you are going to say one sentence, right? So you, let's say, for example, if, the, if you have three members of, in a group, so everyone is going to say a sentence. Okay, let's see, for example, one says a motorcycle is faster than a car. Okay, then the next sentence is for your classmate. And then the second student says, a car is safer than a motorcycle. And the third one, a motorcycle is cheaper than a car. Vamos a ir una oración cada uno, ¿de acuerdo? So we are going to do that on the breakup room. Is it clear, guys, what we are going to do there? Yes, it's clear. Yes, everything clear. Okay, so... Don't forget this article. So we have motorcycle, car, a smartphone, iPhone, dog, and cat. Of course, you can choose another two things to compare, right? Claro que pueden escoger otras dos cosas, otros dos artículos para comparar. De acuerdo? So let's practice with your classmate. Let's create the breakout rooms here. Give me a second. We are 15. So let's see five groups. Okay, here we go. You are going to have six minutes to complete this activity. So enjoy it. No se olvide saludar a sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Con los que le toque. Okay, say hello first. How are you? How was your day? So here we go. Claudia Esmeralda, do you have a problem to enter with the breakout rooms?
Hello, Ileana, do you have a problem? Ileana, do you need any help? Eh, teacher, no pude conectarme, sacó Zoom de, de, de la reunión. Ok, let's try again. Ok. Ok. Ok, ok. Eli, eh, estaba en el grupo 3, ¿verdad? Sí, en el 3. Ok, let's try it again. Recibió la invitación. Hello, Esmeralda Isabel, do you have a problem? Sí, es que se me olvidó la señal. Ah, ok. In which group were you working on? ¿En qué grupo estaba trabajando, Isabel? Ay, no me acuerdo el nombre, pero... Era una muchacha que tenía unos audífonos grandes. Ah, with Jonel. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's group number, number five. Ok, entendemos de nuevo. Eh, sería todo, ¿no? Los tres. Sí, the dog. Eh, the dog is prettier than cat. Prettier. Prettier. Sería prettier. 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 T-shirt tenemos eh, eh, tres. No sabe, yo, eh, tengo duda con una, la de los prettier. celulares. Celulares, cabal. Ajá, uh -huh. what happened with the cell phone? Eh, la, la, la oración que tenemos es The iPhone is more expensive than the cell phone. Yes, the sentence is right. Ok, eh, pensé. Solo para eso, pensábamos que estaba mala porque eh, no sabíamos cómo eh, decir el otro teléfono. No sé si... Así sería cell phone. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Sí, es, es cell phone oh. o smartphone. Smartphone, you can say. Smartphone. Ah, sí. smartphone. Smartphone o okay. cell phone. Ok, so you can... Eso... Ajá. Tell me, Moisés. Solamente era, solamente era una de cada uno. Eh, por oh. ejemplo, una con el carro y la moto, o las que nosotros... You can say more, right? Ese era un ejemplo para que llevaran un orden, ¿verdad? Cómo iban a ir participando. Pero si tienen más adjetivos, pueden decir las oraciones. No hay ningún problema. Ok. So you can continue saying sentences. No problem. Okay. O oh, you can choose another two things. Uh, díganme dos cosas que podemos comparar. To animal tu brand, dos marcas. Bed and sofa. Ok, bed and sofa. We can compare them. Bed and sofa. Cama versus sofa. So, ¿Qué adjetivos podemos utilizar para compararlos? Big. Comfort. Big. Comfortable. Comfortable. ¿Cuál es más cómodo? Comfortable. Sí, Let's see. Sería comfort. Sería comfortable, se escribe y se pronuncia comfortable. Comfortable. Heavy. ¿Cuál de los dos es más pesado? ¿Cuál pesa más heavy? ¿Cuál de los dos es más grande, big? Big, comfortable, heavy. Eh, warm. ¿Cuál es más cálido? El sofá o la cama. Warm. ¿Cuál costó más? ¿Cuál es más caro? Expensive. Ok, I have now five adjectives. Big, comfortable, heavy, warm, and expensive. Can you say the comparative sentence? Let's start with heavy, pesado. Moisés. The bell is more, no, hey, sería hey, hater o hey, more hey. El adjetivo heavy eh, termina en Y, ¿verdad? heavy y es de dos. Y es de dos sílabas, entonces tenemos que agregarle er, heavier. Sí, sí. Eh, se le cambiaría la Y por la I, ¿verdad? Ajá, heavier. Entonces, the bed eh, is heavier than sofa. Ok, excelente. Now let's go with comfortable. ¿Cuál es más cómodo? Comfortable. Eh, for me, eh, the bed is more comfortable than sofa. Ok, excelente. Como es un adjetivo largo, necesitamos more. more. En Guarama o Guarama, Claudia, ¿cuál es más cálido? ¿De bed o de sofa? Which one is warm? The bed. The bed. Ok, the end of the sentence yes. is. The bed is. The bed is warmer. 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 Dan. Más... The sofa. The sofa. Okay, excellent. So expensive. ¿Qué es más caro? ¿Un sofa o una bed? Una bed. Okay, now make the sentence. The bed. Expensive es un adjetivo largo, entonces necesito more expensive than. Eh, tendríamos que agregar de siempre eh, TH sofa o solo podríamos decir sofa ok de sofa de sofa yes, tenemos que decir de, de sofa is more expensive than the bed okay. or a sofa un sofá podemos de sofa el sofá o a sofa is more expensive than a bed Podemos utilizar ambos artículos, T o A. ¿Ok? 
Okay, thank you so much. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. Good practice. Thank you. Hello everybody, welcome again to the class. How was your practice? Rebecca, terminado su práctica, todos sus compañeros. Yes. Yes, Jessica, did you finish? Yes. Okay, Sonia, did yes. you finish? Yes. Ileana? Could you share your sentences with your classmates? Yes, yes, I could. Okay, that's great. Very good. I hope that you had, had a great time, right? So, practicing these sentences. Do you have any question about this? Question, question. How to make comparative sentences in English? No, no questions. Okay. I have a question. Uh, como loving, love, loving. Está bien o no se podría hacer la comparación. O oh, loving. Yes. O oh, tell me a sentence, por ejemplo. Él, él se eh, refiere a, a decir amoroso en inglés. Ah, ok. Then the adjective amoroso en inglés es wait. What is the adjective? Amoroso en inglés. Lovely, love like. Ok. Love, algo así. Is it this one? Give me a second. I'm going to share this with you. you. Can you spell that for me, please? Lovely. Oh. No. Yes. Ok. Yes. Mm. Lovely. Tiene Lovely. dos adjetivos en el. Lovely. Lovely. Ok, but it's not lovely. It's loving the adjective. Loving. It has two adjectives. So, si no termina en Y, entonces sería more. Uh, more love. Loving. Love. Dan. More loving than, más cariñoso que. Okay. Okay. Los adjetivos de dos sílabas, ¿verdad? si terminan en Y, solo vamos a eliminar la Y y allá vamos a ir. En este caso, loving es de dos sílabas, pero no termina en Y, entonces necesitamos more before the adjective. Ok. 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 Oh, de los ejemplos que tenían, let's see, pretty, cat or dogs. ¿Cuál es? Dog. ¿Qué animalito es más bonito? ¿Un perro dog. o un gato? Dog. 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 Sí, a, la, la oración sería a dog. A dog. A dog. Ok, prettier. Dan, cat. Dan, cat. A cat. Así nos quedaría la oración. Muy bien. Then, save. Para el auto y la, motis, la motocicleta, el adjetivo save. ¿Cuál es más seguro? Save. A car is the safer than motorcycle. Is that sentence correct? No. Cars are safer. Okay, then we say a uh, car is it's safer. 
Say the motorcycle. Motorcycle. Okay, perfect sentence. And what about the smartphone and the iPhone? Which one is expensive? Well, it's más caro. The adjective is expensive. iPhones are expensive. more expensive than I Androids. More expensive than Androids. Android. Smartphone. Okay. They are two different systems, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. So just to finish this class, I have this for you. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Tongue twister. This is a great way to practice your English. Do you like tongue twister? Les gustan los trabalenguas? Have you ever tried one? In yes, Spanish. Sure. In Spanish, do you know <laughs> when in Spanish? ¿Conocen yes. alguno en español? Yes. I know one in, in English. Ok, tell me which one. What is it? Sally, Sally, Sally sings silly songs. <laughs> ok. Silly. Now repeat that five times without making mistakes. <laughs> go, go. Who wants to try? David? Say it five times without making mistakes. Sally sings silly songs. Okay, good. I have these <laughs> three options for you. It's kind of difficult, right? But you can practice them. So tongue twister. So if two witches were watching two watches, with which would watch with watch. So that is the first one. Now, if two witches were watching two watches, which we would watch which what? Who wants to try it? ¿Quién quiere intentarlo? Okay, David, do it. And then I have Rebecca. Go, David, your microphone. If two witches were watching two watches, which which would watch which watch? Okay, very good. Now, Rebecca Jonel, would you like to try the first one? If two witches were watching two watches, which which will watch which watch. Perfect, thank you. And the second one, he sells seashells by the seashore. He sells seashells by the seashore. Say it five times. ¿Quién quiere intentarlo diciendo los cinco veces sin equivocarse? Five times. <laughs> David, would you like to try? Go, David, your microphone. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 <laughs> she sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, great. Very good job. Almost perfect. And Janelle, would you like to try it? No. No, not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what about the last one? How much wood would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? That is the third one. Okay, so you can practice tongue twister, right? It's a great manner to practice, right? To practice English. So there are a lot of them, right? These are the easiest ones. Estos son los más fáciles, right? There are, there are another one that are really difficult, but you can look for them on YouTube or on Google and you can practice them. Okay, so you can use tongue twister. Do you have any question about tonight's class? If you don't have any other question, thank you and have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. No questions? No questions. No more Bye. Questions. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.